Hi everyone, it's me, Marcus. In case you haven't, in case you don't notice, I have one half of my face with foundation on and one half without. Uh, so, and that's because today I'm going to be showing you how I apply my foundation. So it's a tutorial-ish, as some of you might know. That's how I do things. I already have concealer on this under on the under eye though, which is one thing that I've done beforehand. But I'll link below if you want to see how I do the concealer because I have a video for that already. Um, so please leave a like, subscribe, or in a respectful and or a respectful comment down in the comment section below. Also, let guys let me know if you want me to do the emotions channel which I was talking about in my last video and I'll tell you some stories that I have been through and um, maybe you can you yourselves will have gone through a situation like that I just want to get some things out there that uh, people don't explain to you that you go through and you know maybe there'll have been things that I haven't gone through that I don't understand but uh, maybe it'll shed some light on what you were going through and make you realise that you're not alone in this and you're not going mad. Okay, because I thought I was going mad. Okay, so, um, first of all, this is what I did. I got my mix and palette. I used this Ecru foundation. It's more of a matte one, I think, uh, which is good for me because I need balance. With my skin being dry combination, it can either get oily or dry, so I want to prevent both. And then I got two pumps of this. And I mix them together with my foundation brush. Let me just zoom in that camera. That's better. And I mix them together. And then I apply to the face, like so. I just go all over with it. And when I'm done with one part of the face, I like to blend that in straight away. Because I don't want to, cause I don't want to have any streaks whatsoever. Especially where there are moustache hairs. Moustache and beard hair. I want to prevent that as much as possible. Oh yes. Oh, I, uh, I used this. Um, as a base for my moisturiser. I haven't cleansed this morning. I'm only cleansing once a day now because I find it better for my skin. So, Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. I highly recommend this. It's beautiful. My skin feels soft and it feels bouncy and so plump. Even the fine lines are reduced. Unless it's just the fold, the fold in the eye, which everyone has. And I'm going crazy. Um, yeah, I like to blend that in. Just do like a, a Sonic the Hedgehog kind of bounce. That, that'll help you get there. I hope. It certainly helps me anyway. Everyone's different. No tutorial is correct for everyone. One size does not fit all in makeup. All skincare. It's just one of those things. So then I go to the forehead. And I've already blended in one side, even that, you know, so I don't have a harsh line when I'm doing this side, because that can be quite hard to get rid of once it's dried down. I make sure my eyebrows are filled in as well, a little bit, because that can be a hard to reach area even with blending, so I use a smaller blend, blend beauty blender, I have to say that three times, <laughs> Th um, smaller size beauty blender to reach the heart of each areas, like the cracks of my nose, which I'll do in a second. But first, I'm thinking, should I just go out with this makeup, or should I just go or should I use my my uh, eyeshadow and everything as well? I'm making sure it's all blended in. <clears throat> so I'm 
So let me know down below guys if you think I suit just the foundation and concealer or if you think I should put more makeup on. And respectfully though, don't just say, oh, you don't need a makeup, you don't need makeup, you need a paper bag. Because <laughs> I know some people out there might want to say that to somebody. I only know because I've seen other people do that and I've heard other people do that on other people's channels. Not on my channel, you're not. <laughs> I want to eliminate that before it even starts. Which I think a lot of people don't do. But I, I would like to do that. So. I mean, not to discredit their work, but I think if we tackle this issue from the beginning then it might not be so hard to deal with later on. Start as you may go on, that's what I say. At the risk of sounding old, like an old man. <laughs> I, I just want to put it out there, because it's important. It doesn't matter whether I sound old or not, it's still important. I'm going to do the eyes as well. I'm going to look so pure. <laughs> okay, now. Under eyes. And I, I like to use my foundation on top of the concealer. It just blends it in more nicely as well. Can you see? Probably sound a bit patronising because I know some of you might be able to see. Especially the eagle-eyed amongst you. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put some more on top of these blemishes that I can see. Not sure if you can see them, but I can. Because I magnify everything I see. I'm going to put a tiny more foundation lower the neck just to blend more. God, this dries quickly. <laughs> I'm so pleased with one, one side first because can you hear that? And this is on acrylic. <laughs> I'm glad I uh, <laughs> I apply, I applied and then blended it in straight away because otherwise I would have been blending cement. <laughs> Practically. <clears throat> Don't even think I put any on my nose, did I? Oh well. I'll do it now. N mix. Same. Always takes me ages to do anything when it comes to makeup because I like to make sure I get it right. It's just the way I am. Oh god, just got me, just poked myself with my nail on my nose. That's probably not a good thing actually, not for the skin. So, yeah. Just doing that test to see if any foundation transfers because with me foundation does transfer so I'll just put on a tiny bit of powder as well god I hate powder can't stand it it's my least favorite thing to apply in makeup I'm not going to put it on my eye area though because that gets liney like crazy so I don't want to do that because my eye area gets very liney and creepy when it comes to makeup so never ever use powder under your eyes. Mm -mm. Not for me anyway. Mm. 
Sorry, what was I saying about a tiny bit of powder? <laughs> Thank God this is a tutorial-ish. I am definitely accident prone, as you can tell. But I'd rather be me than, than, than no one. <laughs> Some on my t-shirt. I hope my skin still feels nice because I hate the way powder takes away that that nice and soft feeling on your skin. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Right. Oh, right. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you think that I should apply eyeshadow or if I shouldn't. Uh, also, let me know what you think. Like, which makes me look the youngest with makeup, without makeup. Uh, I want your honest opinions on it. Even if I don't like it, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I won't. But uh, <clears throat> at least I know the truth. Also, um, some more powder on my hands. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, or requests that are respectful, please leave them down in the comment section below uh, and read the description box down below, okay? I know these tutorial issues and my videos are quite long, but I think the more you can fit into a video, the better, better. For the patient amongst you. I know some people just want to get like this done 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 but that's not how I do things. I like to do things at my own pace so that I can get things done more correctly because in the past people said hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up and I've ended up doing things wrong and with my anxiety it makes it harder so I like to make sure that you know Slowly but surely is definitely my motto. Uh, so anyway, I think I'll apply. I might apply eyeshadow today, cause you know I haven't had any comments from you yet. But once I do get comments, I'll go with the majority. Well, the majority that I'll be able to go through anyway. My hair's just—it's doing this, you know, like one of those. I don't know, like kind of roller coasters, waves. Kind of weird. <laughs> okay, um, so, um, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!